Thomas McWayne is an American author, screenplay writer, and director born in Wyandotte, Michigan on December 11, 1939. In 1962, McWayne attended Michigan State University where he received his bachelor's degree in English. In 1962, McWayne married his first wife, Corita Rebecca Crockett. In 1965, he studied playwriting and dramatic literature at Yale University. He continued his education at Stanford University between 1966 and 1967. While at Stanford, he was able to finish his first novel, The Sporting Club. The Sporting Club was published in 1969. The novel is about two old friends who strike up an old feud filled with dangerous tensions from childhood rivalry that pushes them to the limit. In 1971, McWayne published his second novel, The Bushwhack Piano. This novel is about a heroic young man in pursuit of a spoiled rich girl. McWayne's third novel, 92 in the Shade, was published on 1973 and 1975. The novel was turned into a movie that McWayne wrote the screenplay along with directing the film. Tom was just a beginner in his line of work. You got a job yet, bright boy? I'm starting. You know what? Guiding. That is terrific. I'll see you every night at the Red Door with the rest of those drunken charter boat captains. And in the Everglades, beginners have to pay a price. The whole thing is all in fun. I don't understand, Cart. What whole thing was all in fun? Well, it was all in fun when old Nickel followed you out there. He just wanted to give you a little start there by stealing your clients. Who did that? But the joke turned into a dangerous game of revenge. I know that wasn't much of a joke we played on you. Sure wasn't. But that doesn't excuse what you've done. Nickel, do you really think you're going to have to waste that boy? I don't know. My first instinct was that this uh, face-off with Dan's was a matter of honor. It's a matter of who gets to fish and who gets to cut bait. Warren Oates, Peter Ponda, Harry Dean Stanton, Burgess Meredith, and Margot Kidder. Connor. What? I wonder what was going to happen. There's a good chance somebody might get killed. 92 in the shade. While he was in Hollywood working on film 92 in the Shade, he had an affair with actress Margaret Kidder. Within two years, they were married, divorced, and blessed with a baby girl. Dwayne's other work include Panama in 1978, Somebody's Angel in 1981, Something to be Desired in 1984, To Skin a Cat in 1986, Keep the Change in 1989, Nothing But Blue Skies in 1992, Some Horses in 1999, The Longest Silence in 1999, The Cadence of Grass in 2002, Gallatin Canyon in 2006, and Driving on the Rim in 2010. One of McWayne's fiction stories is called The Star. The Star is about a young girl who goes walking through the woods and comes across a man who kills a wolf. She realizes how disgusted and disappointed she is by humanity in general for the cruel things that we do. Many of McWayne's works have nature aspects to them due to his love for the outdoors. The gain is a fisherman, sailor, and a horseback rider. In 2010, McGain was elected into the American Academy of Arts and Letters, which is considered the highest formal recognition of artistic merit in the United States. McWayne is also a member of the National Cutting Horse Association. Due to his dedication, he was elected into their Hall of Fame. McGuane is now married to Lori Buffet with three children in all. It continues with his love for outdoors and writing. Literature is a ditch I'm going to die in. It's still a thing I care most about. Thomas McGuane.